Hello everyone, this is Neo, and today we'll be making a follower. This follower will be able to follow around the player and also attack enemies, similarly to how the player attacks enemies. All source code will be available in the GitHub down below. So first thing we're going to want to do is remove some parts and add some new parts. We're going to be changing how uh, attacks are going to be registered. So we'll get rid of this connecting signal here. We will be changing the attack box script right here. So it'll be set to this instead. So you're going to want to make sure, which I will show later, that we have an area being checked if it's in a, a group called melee, which we will be setting inside of the attack box for our player. Make sure that you get rid of the connecting signals, any kind of uh, signaling uh, for any other parts such as boss health change because all we can do is just set the function name here. Next, I'm going to fix an issue that I made here. So I'm going to go to the base scene inside of our boss to our boss template. And I'm going to make sure that I have attack proximity inside of the template. So we'll add an area 2D with a collision. We're only going to want to do it for attack proximity here. So you do not need to duplicate. You just need this. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you go in under node under signals, set the body enter and body exited for our script and do so for the correct script. Next, we're going to want to go under the orc, and then we're going to get rid of attack proximity under here because we will have it inside of our template instead. So we have it here. We can just set our attack proximity. There we go. Next, we're going to do the exact same thing for our enemy script and it's going to be under our template. So we're going to get rid of the player connecting to our signal here. Then we'll go down and we'll want to change the attack box area entered to this instead. This will allow us to have our follower later be able to attack the enemy and deal damage and knockback. Next, what we're going to do is create our menu. So we're going to create a menu using a canvas layer and we'll call it NPC menu. And we're going to want to add a panel. Then we'll add a VBox container. Then we'll add three buttons, which we can do control D to duplicate twice or er, twice more. There we go. Our first button is going to be our follow me button. This will cause our follower to follow, dismiss, and then we're going to have exit to exit out of the menu. We'll want to drag our menu down here. That way we don't have it inside of the UI up above, which shows our health. We'll just name these buttons. We'll go under NPCs. We'll create a new folder called NPC. This will be our NPC menu. And then we can begin by adding a script. Our script is going to be fairly simple. We're just going to want to add a follow to uh, connect to our follow to the script, then dismiss, and then exit. For our follow, we're going to want to have get parent dot get parent dot is following, which will be a variable inside of our NPC set to true. What this is essentially doing is getting out of its anchor, which I'll show you in a moment. But the anchor of the NPC menu 
is going to be where the NPC menu insta instantiates. And it's going to then get the parent of that anchor, which will be the follower, which will be able to manipulate the variables. We're going to want to do the same thing, but we'll set it to false. And on exit pressed, we can just do QQ free because we can instantiate this menu as many times as we need to. Before I continue, I realized I placed the menu in the wrong section. NPC menu should be under menus. We'll have an NPC soon inside of here, but for now, we're going to move on to the next part. So we will be adding a thing called an event trigger, which will be an area 2D and it'll have a collision. We'll just name it to event trigger. And it's going to have a script. First, we'll save it. This will be under NPCs because it will trigger the NPC to ask the questions and to have the menu up. So we'll want to remove some of the comments. For our ready function, we'll do player.follower interacted which we will put inside of the player script soon. It'll connect to instance NPC menu, which will be our function that we're gonna write right here. So func function instance NPC menu, it's going to instance. So it'll have a variable called var instance is equal to NPC menu. And then we will add variable spawn It'll be equal to instance dot instantiate. Make sure you spell that correctly. And then we're going to do get parent dot get node menu anchor, which will be a node we'll be adding soon dot add child spawn. Over here, we're going to want to do var NPC menu is equal to load. And then we're going to set the path to our NPC menu, which will be under here. And it's right here. So we'll do a copy path and then we will paste here. And then we're going to refer to our player. So on ready variable player is equal to get parent dot get parent dot get node player. We can save that. Next, we're gonna go over to our player script, which will be right here. So we're gonna change this enemy attacked to follower interacted. Then we're going to set our interact button, which will be under project settings, input map. Then we're gonna type interact and we'll set this button to E. Next, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna go under our blend positions and we will write the following if input dot is action pressed interact then we're going to emit the signal which will be follower interacted and there we go we're going to want to go over to our player and we will add an interact box so we'll do an area 2D, then a collision shape, and we'll call this interact box. And we'll actually want to add this under our marker to the, this will basically be our pivot. For this box, you're gonna to wanna to make it the same as our attack box and also facing towards the same direction of it. So, you want to make sure that it is 90 degrees and it's going down in case your character is facing down. And then under animation player, you're going to want to go over to all your idols. So you're going to want to make sure that all of your idols keyframed are keyframed to the correct spots where your character is facing.
So this will conclude our first part of the adding the follower. The next video will be released and it will show how to create the rest of the follower. And I'll see you guys in the next video.